In this video, we're going to talk about how we can find an exponential function going through two points. We're going to use the points 2, 6, and 5, 48. And we're going to build an exponential model that is y equals ab to the x. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a model uh, for each point. You know, this is an x value, this is a y value. So if I plug those in, I get 6 equals ab to the 2. And I'll do the same thing with this point. 48 equals a b to the 5. And I write them right on top of each other. And you're going to see why in a second. It doesn't matter which one I put on top. In fact, ours might have been easier to do the other way, but that's okay. We're going to get the same answer. doesn't matter. What we have now is we've created two equations with two unknowns, a and b. So we can solve this via substitution or elimination. Now, we've seen with linear equations, we can do elimination by adding or subtracting. With exponential, because we have a common ratio that makes a function exponential, we do elimination with dividing. So I am going to divide both sides of the equation. So I have 6 over 48, which reduces down to 1 8. And over here, look what happens. Here's my elimination because the a's cancel. Now I have b squared over b to the fifth. Remember, two things of the same base, their exponents subtract, so that's b to the negative third. So we have enough information now to solve for b. Now, what we would do to solve this is we could, one thing we can do is we can raise both sides to the negative one third. So we're going to raise both sides to the negative one third, because over here what that does is that makes that just b, because negative 3 times 1 third is 1. Over here, this is what we can do by hand, but if we had something more difficult that we couldn't, we could either leave our b this way, or we could calculate it with a calculator. Now the negative exponent means we're taking the reciprocal, so this is the same thing as 8 to the one positive 1 third, and the cube root of 8 is 2. So we have one that's simplified kind of nice in this case, but that may not always be the case. Our base could be anything. So let's see what we have for a model now. We have y equals a times 2 to the x. So we still need to find our y-intercept, basically our initial value. Now with linear functions, what we do is we find our slope, then we plug in a point to get our y-intercept. Nothing different here. We're going to plug in either one of our points for x and y, so I'm going to use this point, so I plug 6 in for y equals a times 2 squared. So I got 6 equals a times 4. Divide both sides by 4, I get a equals 6 over 4, or 3 halves. So I now have my exponential model that goes through those two points. y equals 3 halves times 2 to the x. And we've done this algebraically. You could check this using exponential regression in your calculator, or if you want, graph it and make sure it goes through those two points.